So we started as a real estate development company developing urban infill in DC, which means kind of on H Street Northeast, a lot of the emerging corridors, buying vacant buildings, gutting them, and then leasing them to local tenants, local bars, restaurants. And as we were in the real estate development industry, we realized there's almost no technology in the entire, entire industry, particularly consumer facing. So the first web platform we've launched, and this was last December, is called Popularize. So we had a building, 1351 H Street Northeast. It's right next to the Rock and Roll Hotel on that strip. Um, it was vacant. We bought it. It had been vacant since 1955. And we all had our own opinion of what should be there, a bar, a restaurant, you know, tons of different concepts. But we said, well, why don't we actually ask the community, the people that live nearby, that are going to shop there, that actually know the neighborhood. Um, so we launched the website. We created a platform where a user can go on. They can pick a specific project. First started with their own, but now have launched other developers and other users. They can post an idea of what they think should be in the building. They can like, an, like somebody else's idea. They can comment. They can talk about it. Um, initially, it was built for own property. Now we sell it as software as a service. So other developers, other cities, other urban planners, anyone who has a project where they want to engage the community um, can subscribe and basically use it as a tool to reach out to their customer. Um, so this is building 18, the old firehouse. And just to give you a sense of the site design, below here, people <coughs> posted different concepts. These are called build its, which is kind of the equivalent of Facebook like. This says business. If you're an actual business, you can mark yourself as a business. You're interested in being in a space. Um, their comments and, and then more details about the property. So this was posted by Juliana Ross, who is the head of the Magnuson Park Advisory Committee. And she had, for, for 10 or 15 years, is an island in Seattle with old historic buildings, had been trying to save and restore the buildings in the park. So she started a grassroots campaign on building, is it eight, building 18, the old firehouse, to have the city stop, demolish it, and then also posted a popularized project um, to help get community input and help people with ideas of what they should do with the building to help then go to the city and say, people are interested in this building, you should not demolish it. So this building was on the demolition list last year. The mayor then saw that there was activity and people excited about this concept. He took it off the demolition list and then put $1 million in next year's budget to stabilize the building. Um, and so it's just been an amazing tool for someone who already has a built-in community, built-in base to use it to engage their community and then direct that towards a specific purpose. Um, so particularly in an industry where, you know, the default is not to communicate, to basically fight with the community, it's really shown that when you actually reach out to people and engage the community, one, they're receptive to what you want to do, and two, can actually help both sides. And then the second web tool that we've launched since then, uh, was two months ago, is called Fundrise, which, so the initial one is crowdfunding, this is now, or crowdsourcing, this is now crowdfunding. Um, so we had that building on H Street, 1351 H Street. We worked with the local SEC and local regulators for nine months and got it registered with them so that we can effectively take the building public. So any of you can log on right now and for $100, anybody who lives in D.C., Virginia, and $100 a share buy into the building that we're developing and help get the tenant open and support the concept. So we launched this two months ago and now raised $234,000 from DC and Virginia <coughs> residents. And so we were the owners of the building, we're selling a 30% interest. And we view it as a new way to basically finance urban development and particularly change the values and the system of urban development. So you know, if people don't want a Starbucks, they want a, a Big Bear Cafe, there's no mechanism for them to actually support that. But if they put, could actually invest and create the Big Bear Cafe as opposed to the Starbucks, it gives them the power to actually help develop their neighborhood. So this, in kind of the arc of what we're doing initially, was reaching out to the community to get a sense of what they're interested in, what they want, help kind of align supply and demand, help build a user base that people are interested in. And then Fundrise is a culmination of that. Now invest in, now make it happen. This is what we've been working on. We assume we'll keep kind of developing tech businesses that relate to the real estate development company because um, it, it's, it, real estate development has a huge impact on everybody's life. I mean, everybody lives in a neighborhood that has things that are developing, and currently there's basically no connection with the developer, with the customer, um, and we think that should change, and then we're trying to build products that allow people to be more effective at doing that. Thank you.